<laughs> Greetings, Dean Colin Mayer, Lord Bates, distinguished guests, faculty, and administration. Also, I want to give special recognition and thanks to our families, spouses, and friends who have supported and, of course, tolerated us during our endless group projects, late night study sessions, and most notably, this period of persistent negative cash flow. <laughs> Last but not least, congratulations to the Oxford MBA class of 2010. It has been one fantastic year. It's been a privilege to have been on this once-in-a-lifetime adventure with such an internationally diverse, thought-provoking, and talented class. And what an incredible year we've had together. In addition to our challenging and enriching educational studies with Oxford's outstanding faculty, we learned much during our breaks trekking around the globe spanning five continents where we have been welcomed with open arms from some of the world's finest business organizations as we immersed ourselves in local cultures. We've met and engaged with equally diverse leaders ranging from George Soros to His Royal Highness Prince Charles, from Santa Day O'Connor to Shakira. <laughs> We've shared formal dinners at our storybook like Oxford Colleges with Silicon Valley entrepreneurs, billionaires, social visionaries, captains of industry, and political leaders. We came together as a class to compete in sports at the NBA Olympics in Paris and brought back from across the channel plenty of medals. We teamed up to share ideas and launch innovative new companies, contemplated social innovations, and embraced the richness of cultures represented in our class. And yet we did all this while plowing through intense coursework and round after round of interviews. The lessons we've learned, both personally and professionally, have often been profound and unexpected. Through a series of unlikely coincidences, coming from such diverse backgrounds and cultures, our lives have all crossed for this brief time together, and we learn from one another and challenge each other to be our best. Both the tangible and the intangible changes in each of us during the past year have prepared us for life after Oxford. I look forward to when I stop getting updates on each of you from social media and start getting them from the mass media. In closing, I'll leave you with a quote by the great Chinese poet, Jitao Chen. <laughs> that was shared with the world via email, 3.07 this morning. <laughs> we celebrate we look back, and we pronounce reminiscently that it's been a good year. Thank you. <laughs> but really, what amazing experiences we have had together. We've come from all over as a class with uniquely personal stories that brought us to this magical place that is Oxford. We've joined from all walks of life here. We are bankers, we are consultants, we are entrepreneurs, we are corporate, we are industry, we are social enterprise, we are thought leaders, we are change agents, and we are human. It'll be more than a little bittersweet to say goodbye to these hallowed halls of this ancient little town of castles and dreams. Goodbye to 240 people who have been part and parcel of our daily existence this past year. But we can forever take away the reality that we all cross paths here, along with so many other very distinct, yet ultimately similar, journeys and aspirations. That by the push and pull of it all, we changed others and are about to leave a little changed ourselves. And that at the end of the day, we will all share both in the frailness of being human on one side of the coin, and on the other, the resilience and hope and inspiration of all of those who walked the same streets over eight centuries, and who have nevertheless left their marks forever on this world. But you see, friends, our journey is only beginning. And what now inextricably links us forever in this bond that ties us as Oxford MBAs, it's now our responsibility to that brand. It's our responsibility to take to the companies we will move on to and the companies we create to bring about not just financial prowess, but long-term outlook and sustainability. We will be the leaders that don't just think quarter to quarter, but think long-term vision. 
We will be the leaders that understand our decisions one day will affect employees, families, communities, and our world. We will be the leaders who have already learned from our experience here the power of collaboration over division, that together we can grow the pie and do better for ourselves in the process and make larger impacts to the world than we ever could with exclusion. So in all we do from here onward, from the things seemingly trivial to the things momentously large, autograph your work with excellence. Because in all those things, we are the ambassadors to representing ourselves, our families, our hometowns, our heritage, and now this grand institution and brand that is Oxford. So let's continue this 800 year legacy of that brand by unleashing in us all that is Oxford in everything we do to reverberate and resonate on this world stage. Thank you so much.